So, as any experienced Minecraft Redstoner knows, it's possible to subtract Redstone signals from each other by turning on the front torch of a comparator. And I've made up a circuit for adding the signal strings together instead. And it works by really simple math that says that if we take A and subtract bracket start A minus B minus C bracket in, then that will turn into A minus A, which is zero, so we'll just zero plus B plus C, which is B plus C. So the way we can apply this to Whitstone is that this and this is A, this is B and this is C. So since they point down each of them have a strength of one. If I increase any of them, the output strength will increase to oh, whoops. Which is the point of this whole design. To add these signals together. And it's expandable. Here we have four of them. And any of them will increase the the output since it's just adding in more numbers to the bracket, but all of them will end up getting added. And you could use any kind of input you want, so if I just quickly build a subtractor adder here, then I can add some chests instead. And you'll see we have this strength currently so now it's zero now if I add anything to one chest it turns into one two give myself a lot of items and the signal strength increases even more so I don't really know what you could use this for, but I guess it can be used for some pretty cool things. Something I already have in mind is that there's probably someone that's able to use it to make a calculator or something crazy like that. I know, I just vented my thoughts on how to create these circuits. And before anyone asks, then no, you can't just have the two hoppers face into the same block. I tried to well, to compare it to facing into the same one. I tried to do that, but apparently it doesn't want to subtract both of them. Or maybe I just did it wrong. Let's tr just try for safety's purpose, just so that I can be sure. Let's see, strength, yes, you can only subtract one of them, which is kinda sad. So, you'll have to make a linear design like this, oh, it doesn't have to be completely linear. All you have to keep in mind is that all of them, the intersections will have to run into the same line. And that's it for this video. In with blogger, over and out.